okay so it cut the video off so this is part two so if you catch this video you guys go check out the first part part one it's like 30 minutes long okay uh, this has been doing this to my videos my libra video yesterday that i posted it cut off three times what the like it's not even mercury retrograde right now you guys it's crazy um so anyways what i was saying was that there's external forces the universe um and you know all of that that is influencing this at this time okay they are breaking apart the third parties the masculine is leaving behind third parties also they're afraid that you might be involved with someone that you have moved on and they don't want to be blinded anymore like they want to know the truth they they need answers they're seeking the truth they they're seeking answers okay and it's funny because like they're the ones seeking answers but they're also the ones that need to provide the answers to their soulmate the one deep love spiritual connection it's your life partner they're in she's in a wedding gown like they've just been married and this is what they see this is what they're seeking this is what they envision their third eye that's what their third eye is seeing right now hold on you guys i have to let my dog in he's whining come on okay so let's pull some more cards on this okay since this cut off, it's kind of working out in, in the collective's favor because now instead of just posting like a three minute reading, because the reading was pretty much done, I was going to pull the tea and then be done. I think now I'm going to tap in a little bit more. Okay. So right now the DM is being sneaky. They're watching you online. You have two cards back to back of watching you online. Um be very cautious of like you know people who follow you from friend requests blah 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 like make sure that the profiles are real you guys because for a lot of you guys this karmic this karmic who's watching you they're watching you online and if your profile is private they will create a fake one like pose as another woman or another man to um you know try to friend you so they can see who you are what you're doing who you talk to when the dm leaves them like if the dm is moving towards you like intuitively they feel it they know it so they're being sneaky so just that's coming through very strongly right now you guys okay um there's a surprise here spirit spirit wants you to know that there's a surprise coming it's a it's an unexpected shift it's a change the wheel of fortune remember i was saying that it's like one day it's one way and then just out of nowhere it's like boom here it is the wheel changes comes out of nowhere too you know the, the wheel of destiny isn't necessarily out of nowhere but it is a shift in energy and it's a lucky it's a stroke of luck it's a lucky shift behind the scenes the dm wants to tell you everything that's been going on behind the scenes with them like they there is this energy you guys where they're just like you have no idea you have no idea how my life has been okay since you've been away they are lusting after you today okay we've been seeing the sexual energy come through very strongly yesterday i channeled that out like crazy and i saw like a lot of you guys watching this you guys commented and a lot of you guys watching this are my clients and we've actually had these discussions and readings about the sexual energy, especially like in these twin flame connections and stuff too, because um, because of the connection, you know, you guys are feeling each other like on a whole different level. Forbidden fruit, they feel like you are forbidden to them. For you are the forbidden fruit. Sexual energy, their sexual energy is off the hook. Like they want you guys so bad. They want you so bad. They are 444 on the timestamp. They are not interested in anything else in their world except you. No one else compares to you. Look at you. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. 
you are shining you glow baby and everyone wants a piece of you like people like they all watch you and they're just like how do you do it who like who you know and it's like well well i had to walk away from my twin flame i had to walk away from my past life soulmate I had to make sacrifices. I had to go through a dark night of the soul. I had to go through extreme lows in order to come and be where I am today. Ravenous. And I'm pulling intuitively. I can feel the energies. My intuition says stop. This is an insane. These came out yesterday, didn't they, you guys? I know the ravenous one did in the DM reading I did yesterday. Because I was talking about the sexual energy and how crazy it is. And it came out. So this is insatiable desire for you. They're lusting for you like no other. This is coming in. A big surprise. You're not going to be single for long. For a lot of you guys. This isn't a personal reading, so it's not for every single one of you guys. And everyone's going to be on a different time in their journey with their person. For some of you guys watching this, these energies won't come through for another six months or a year or a month. For some of you guys, it's already happened. And for some of you guys, it's happening right now. But the DM is single. They want to know if you're single too. Um, and they want to know, is this done for good? They've gotten single. They've gone through breakups. They're going through divorces. They're ending things. They're aligning with their destiny. They're aligning with their destiny. So karmic cycles can be completed. They're also completing karmic cycles in their life. But you guys have this soul contract, a contract that goes beyond the 3D. There's so much going on here. And all they're having constant deja vu of you, of the times you guys spent together, the history between you guys. It's all of that, okay? Um, so let's get some more of the sexual magic tarot. Let's, let's do some channeled messages real fast with the sexual magic tarot. I'm just going to see what comes through and I'm going to channel the messages out. Say from a DM's perspective, what they want to say to you, what they're thinking, um, and what's going on. And then I'm going to pull a couple messages. The fool. See, I'm fucking nailing it tonight, you guys. The Fool, Four Cups, Bottom of the Deck. Before, they walked through that gate alone. They used those scissors and they cut away the connection. They turned their back on the feminine. They feel like a fool for doing that. They are shedding old skins, you guys. They have felt the sting of this connection. They, um, they're they ready to like live life on the edge with you. To take this leap of faith. They know they have to strike while the iron is hot. But they're ready to take risks. They're following their intuition, their soul. They're ready to climb mountains for you, move mountains for you. They feel like they don't need anything in this world as long as they have you. They're a fool for you. There's this really like beautiful energy around the masculine that I'm feeling you guys, you know how I was saying in the first, you have to watch the first part of the reading, but um, in the beginning, what I was channeling before I started pulling cards is this energy right here. It's this, where I said that they were feeling extremely grateful to the feminine today, that they're feeling extremely um, appreciative of what the feminine has taught them, what the feminine has showed them revealed to them, helped them with. And you guys don't even have any idea. Most of you, you have no clue. You might feel it, sense it intuitively, you know, but they haven't expressed it to you. 
physically communicated it to you. And that's what they're coming in to do. But they're just so happy. And that's what I was saying. There's just refreshing energy around them that feels free, like a free spirit. They feel free to move towards you, free to take a leap of faith. They just feel free. And it's not like just free because they're single or, you know, they, or they're getting single or whatever. Like, it's not just free from attachment. It's free like, like, I feel alive. Like, I came alive when I met you. I came back to life in your presence. Like, your, like, you healed me. Um, and I can't wait to come in and to, to express this to you, to, to be with you, to show you, you know? <gasps> I knew it was the sun, you guys. I, I almost fucking said it. I almost said it before I looked at it. I almost said, that's the sun. <sighs> My psychic abilities have been off the charts lately. Like, it's kind of to the point where things just, I, I, like, it's not surprising to me because, like, I see things happening before they happen constantly. Just like this. I saw the sun in my mind's eye and then it flipped and I felt it and I should have just called it my bad. But there it is. Because I was literally talking about like how they're they're feeling so happy and like grateful and it's like this really free energy. They're they're following their happiness. You can even see in this card, see the sun glaring on the top of the snow covered mountain cap. This side has no sunlight over here. It's just the snow. This side has the snow reflecting, showing, and it's also reflecting slightly off of his face and the front of his, you know, body on his clothes. It's them facing their happiness, the sun. They've grown, they've been healing. So they're coming in and it literally looks like the sun is, is the sun here is like glowing on the mountains here. So they're taking this leap of faith. And again, this is what I was saying this whole time is how you make them feel inside, warm, loved, content, stress-free. It's very easy, natural. The way you feel in their arms is natural. It's never felt more right. The time is now. Don't be shy. Yeah, they're they're not gonna be shy anymore. Sorry, I was like, I'm channeling, so when I look, it's like weird, I know. It's fine, I'm fine, we're fine. <laughs> but they're coming in for their happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is a yes card, always. The sun is never a negative card. The sun is also enlightenment. It shows me here how they are ascending. It's showing it's, it's truth, it's clarity. You know, the, the moon is darkness and it's about illusion, things like that, right? The sun is the opposite. The two of cups. Holy shit, you guys. <sighs> soulmates. The union of soulmates. Two become one. Literally, they're having, in, they're, they're intimate right here. Like he is inside her. <laughs> two become one. It's two of cups. This is deep, deep, deep love, bonding soulmates, harmony, emotional fulfillments. It's being able to be very open and completely vulnerable with someone. All right. It's vulnerability. They're bringing in their, their cup to you. They're bringing in their cup of love. So you guys can have the two of cups together. Nine of swords. Ooh, but they are so stressed out about it. Because you're their wish fulfillment. You're everything that they would ever want. Nine of cups, bottom of the deck. 
and see how he's holding her and she's kind of pulling it looks like she's pulling away and he's like holding her kind of like no like like just listen to me kind of and that's this nine of cups is a wish fulfillment they are and you have two cards back to back nines this was bottom of the deck and this one i pulled intuitively they are stressed out and worried about the truth that they're coming in to say and speak They're afraid that you guys aren't going to want to look back. But they're coming to speak their truth. They're coming to speak their truth. This is the Ace of Swords right here. Because you're their wish fulfillment. And they're hoping that you don't pull away. You're, they're hoping that you will listen. They're hoping that you will be open. Because they don't know what they'll do if you reject them because you're their empress, you're their feminine, like you're their counterpart. But we have free will, right? If you don't want this person, I don't know why you would even be watching the reading for this long, but um, hey, to each their own, right? Um, okay, so let's get some twin flame separation cards, messages. So those were my channeled messages from the divine the, or the sexual magic tarot. Okay, so let's see if spirit agrees, if the universe agrees with my messages. Tell me about the sun and the fool. Oh, hello. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before, but now I do. See, they're following their soul, their intuition. Didn't I say that? They've awoken to the divine connection what this is i understand now what a twin flame is like i get that now we're soulmates they understand the depth of this and they still fill you heavily it's like you've never left their side even though you guys haven't spoken or seen each other you know No one ever loved me again the way that you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. Yep. Look at that. They didn't appreciate you, so you pulled away. And now they don't want to let go. They didn't appreciate you. They chose karmics over you in the past. But it was always you. It was always you. There's no one like you. They want to know, can I come in? Are you still there? Or is your back going to be turned to me forever? Let's see what else they want to say. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. Ooh, so you know what? They are, you guys. They are They are asking their friends and for advice and stuff. Because for me, this is like community, friends, you know. The Wheel of Fortune. So you guys have mutual friends. You guys kind of run in the same circles for a lot of you guys. Maybe you met this person through work or you just like, you know, are from the same area, you know, it, whatever it is. You guys know the same people for a lot of you guys. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. Yep. This for me right here is like, I'm sorry. Like, I just want to love you. You know, all of these, like, I'm sorry. I just want to love you. They will never, ever take you for granted again because they've healed and ascended in so many ways. They want this. They just want to be there for you. They want to birth beautiful things into life with you. Have passionate new beginnings here. I worry that you've moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? See, I told you guys, they're afraid that you've moved on. 
but maybe you are seeing someone else. It scares them, the thought of losing you like that. I fantasize about getting a second chance with you. Spirit wanted that one to pop. Okay. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together. See, I told you guys, they're thinking all about, that's that deja vu. Thinking about when you guys were together, when the times that you guys spent together, how it was, how you felt. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. See, they realize now that you are genuine, that you are the light, that you are their, their, their true love, right? They didn't believe in these things. They didn't believe in how, you know, what you could bring to them or whatever. Like, you know, it's all that. Okay, now let's get a couple of my messages. Spirit, show us, please. Thank you. This was just a karmic. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is not a divine connection. It was literally just a karmic, like a, just a toxic karmic, a season and a reason. Okay. Um, but also they're confirming here with that, just a karmic that the, that the person, um, that, you know, the, the person that the DM has been with or that went they went with or whatever the case is, you know, the people that they've been seeing, it's just karmics. They're just karmics. They had to be placed into the DM's life to cause tower moments for that in order for them to ascend more. Karmic girlfriend or boyfriend is jealous of you. I fucking told you guys. I told you guys from the very beginning with that. Her scowl, how she's watching her. The karmic is jealous of you. It's time to move on. The DM knows it's time for them to move on. It's time for them to move forward. It's time for them to grow. Someone has codependency in their energy. The codependency energy I'm feeling is the masculine, obsessed, addicted is what I'm hearing to the feminine. Um, but also this is the karmic. Karmic is codependent on the uh, masculine. The universe is blessing you with a high vibe sunlight. Just so you know. My pride and ego hold me back. See, that's that nine of swords. or eight of swords, whatever it was. I feel like a fool. I told you, didn't I literally say that word for word with the fool card? I said, they feel like a fool. It's a long reading, you guys. With both videos, it's an hour almost. Karmic scales are being balanced. Justice is being served, you guys. And the way that justice is served is the DM is leveling up here. And right as I say that, the wheel of destiny turns in your favor. You have the wheel of destiny right here. Twice. Double confirmation. I am a cheater and I don't want to be tied down. I feel like that's part of the truth. That's part of why they are in this nine of swords. A lot of you feminines watching this are psychic. You're highly intuitive, you're empaths, you're, you know, so you guys pick up on people's energy, uh, their feel. You may not be like, you may not be a psychic, like, you know, like see things than that, but you know enough to know things. And that's what I mean. And some of you guys, for sure, you're, you're tarot readers, you're, you're mediums, you know, you're, you are psychics, clairvoyant, but this person, that's part of that nine of swords. They are so flipping worried. Like how much does the feminine know? How much has the feminine picked up on intuitively? What do they know? Um, do they know that I cheated or lied? Do they know who I truly have been in my past? Do they know how I've treated women before? It's like all of that. And that's, what keeps them, but this is also part of their truth, what they want to reveal to you. Hey, look, I was just in a low space at that time. 
I didn't want to be tied down. I wasn't ready for a commitment. And I knew with you, it was going to be forever. Like, granted, they should have just said that. Right? <sighs> you have done the work and now abundance is yours. This is the karmic scales being balanced. I know I breadcrumbed you. Ooh, see? That's literally what I was just talking about. The reason why they breadcrumbed you? Because they were scared. They knew they weren't ready. Whether they were even a cheater or not, it doesn't matter. It's just the energy of it, of the message. I want you in my life, but I'm afraid. They are afraid. Again, going back, it's very nine of swords, eight of swords. Twin flame separation. Yep. You guys are no longer going to be in twin flame separation. You've been in twin flame separation. You have no idea how my life has been. Oh my gosh, I literally said that too. I said that they are like, you have no idea how my life has been. And it's true. And they want you to know they love you more than you know. They have felt trapped. But they can't resist this connection anymore. And they want to come in and show you how they truly feel. They know that they have issues, that they've had issues. They want you to know that part of the reason why they couldn't commit to you or they breadcrumbed you, ghosted you, is because of their karmic toxic ex who really messed them up. They did a number on them. But they want you to know that you're the best sex they've ever had. Because of the connection, you guys. Especially with, you know, Twin Flames, Past Life Soulmates, you guys have like this intense bond. Because you've known each other before in so many different lifetimes. I hope the future will bring us together. I'm afraid that you won't ever look at me the same. And I can see us having a family and a beautiful life. That's what I said, right? With the star card of what they're manifesting. What they've been wishing for, hoping for, praying for. Is to have a beautiful life with you. To have a family with you. Have a home with you. Go to sleep with you every night in your bed together. Wake up every morning with you. Talk about how your guys' days were around the dinner table with your kids. Or with just each other. Taking walks on Sundays. Going fishing. Christmas shopping together. Because it's a bitch. And how fun would it be to go out and battle the crowds with your partner in crime? It's all of that, you guys. Not seeing you is hurting me. And here we go. This keeps coming up. So spirit is like driving it home. They want you to know. Remember how I talked about the fake profiles, all of that? Karmic is a psycho. Literally, you guys, you cannot make this shit up. Right after karmic is a psycho. Protecting you from the karmic. So the DM is protecting you from the karmic, but the divine also. And loved ones on the other side are protecting you. You guys have a badass team of warriors, spiritual warriors protecting you. The karmic better watch out. <laughs> they don't want that kind of they don't want that kind of karma on them. They're already in a low vibrational space as a karmic. I know speaking my truth to you will change everything. This is exactly what I was talking about, you guys. And here we go. Ace of Wands. I'm ready for a passionate new beginning. There it is. Bam. I know speaking my truth to you will change everything. That's what I said. That's why they cut you out. That's why they ran. They knew what this was. Like they felt it in that way. So anyways, you guys, this is um, the reading. Okay. So again, be sure you watch both parts of it. Um, it's a long one total. So I um, guess it's a good thing. There's two parts. You can watch it in sections. <laughs> so if this was your reading, you guys, be sure to claim it by liking and subscribing. Um, come back for more. Um, I'm going to be finishing the Zodiac's current energies. And uh, if you guys want to hone in on your personal situationship, twin flame journey, um, see where you're at in your 
in your journey and, and just whatever else. Um, I'm still doing personals. You can find the info below in the description box. Just send me an email. I can do a live reading with you like this, or I can send you a recorded reading. Um, tarot classes. I'm still holding tarot classes. I'm going to do it a few more times. Um, and then go from there. But I'm holding them on Sundays at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tickets are $55. So if you want to tap into your intuitive side, your intuition, psychic abilities, things of that nature, and learn how to read the cards, um, this is a class for you. And I keep it small. It's interactive. Um, it's really amazing. And um, donations. Thank you guys for the donations on the channel. It means the world to me. So I'm sending you so much love, so much light, so much healing. And um, I will see you guys soon.